Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, Pilot Fund 101, and my name is Chris Lee. So, I get a lot of emails on how much does it cost to own a plane, how much does it cost to buy one, how much does it cost for maintenance and fuel, uh, all the time. And there's so many variables to it, uh, it's very hard to calculate. Um, all depends what airplane you buy or looking into, what it burns per hour on fuel, what the maintenance can be. Some planes are more of a maintenance hog, some aren't, some more of a fuel hog, some aren't. So it's so much to calculate and to figure out. Um, so it's a very difficult qu question to ask 100%. So the only thing I can go by is what I personally spend a year on average for my plane, which is behind me, a different background view. Uh, my 1968 Mooney M20C Ranger. Um, so, and I get questions about how did I inquire about it and what did I do to buy it and so on and so forth. Again, so many different variables to it. It's really what you want, what you need a plane for. Um, me in particular, I had a, a Grumman Yankee AA1A for a long period of time. That's what I flew for a long, long time. And so I want to kind of step up to a complex airplane uh, that's, that's, that's fuel efficient, that's fast, and get me places. Because um, my Grumman, 22 gallon tanks, I can fly about two and a half hours at 100 miles an hour. So it wasn't really that fast getting places. So that's what I focused on looking for a complex airplane. The other thing I focused on is research. Research, research, ask questions, uh, look stuff on the internet, ask other pilots. When you see a plane that you like, that you're looking to buy at an airfield somewhere, find the pilot, ask them questions, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. And that's what basically I did. And at the end of the day, after researching for a long period of time, I, for, for my personal reasons and what I'm looking for a plane for me to be, the M20C Ranger was the best bang for my buck, for what I want it for. And of course, there's a, there's a, there's a Mooney 201s. So there's about, uh, I think, about a foot longer, a little more room for the back passengers, and a 200 horse um, uh, fuel injected engine. This is 180 horse, uh, like homing. So, but I didn't need all that, and you know, this was perfectly fine. Um, uh, it's about six, seven knots slower than a 200 horsepower uh, Mooney uh, 201, and also has a lot of speed mods on the plane that came with it. So it was, it's pretty fast. Ranger. Uh, so it's really what you need to do, we need to focus on. I'm not concerned about back passengers. Uh, nine times out of ten, it's me flying. The other percent of the time, it's I might have a co pilot or a passenger in the right seat. And a couple times a year, I'll have four people in the airplane. So I wasn't concerned about room in the back for passengers. That's if they want to fly with me, get in the back. And I'm sorry, that's the room. I'll move my seat as much as I can. So I'm sorry, it's my plane for my personal um, fun. So that's why, how I got this airplane behind me. And then once I figured out what kind of plane I wanted, it took me a long time to find one that has good paint, low time, uh, low prop and hub time, and uh, the interior. And of course, the uh, panel. This plane has everything I wanted. I got a great price, it's a long story, which I really don't want to get into, how I even got this, this airplane. I had to meet the guy a bunch of times and basically approve of me buying the airplane. And, but she's an awesome plane, awesome plane. The paint's nine, nine out of 10, um, and the interior's nine out of 10, you guys seen it. I got, now I have 400 hours in the engine, I put most of those hours on the plane, and the prop and hub have about 200, 300 and change, uh, which I put all that minus 17 hours and this 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 prop you don't need a hundred hour inspection for the AD on the Mooney which is also a huge expense savings for me um, so Mooney M20C Ranger cost to own would I pay approximately for this aircraft behind me so fixed costs let's just start with fixed costs fixed costs are costs you know is going to happen every month and every year no matter what so the insurance on this airplane for me is $900 a year and that covers $60,000. So if I have an issue in the air, the engine quits, I make a mercy landing and not in my favor, they will give me $60,000 for the plane. Same thing on the ground. If I clip a wing or another airplane or I taxi too fast and I hit the prop, it's covered under that insurance policy. So it was higher than that when I first um, was flying the airplanes. I had zero hours in a complex airplane. 
Uh, but now I have you know, well over 200 and change on this plane, oh, actually close to 300 hours now. So my insurance actually was cut in half, which is awesome. So $900 a year for insurance for fully coverage. And my hangar cost here in Orange County at this hangar is $4,500 a year. It does include electric. It's a big hangar. Uh, I got a nice view of other airplanes and electric door. Um, these guys at Orange County and maintenance crew do a great job of plowing, taking care of the lawn. It's a great place to fly them out of and I don't mind paying it. Um, now, you can do a tie down. A tie down will cost you $1,000 a year. But this plane is really, really nice paint um, and I don't want the birds to get into it. The sun hits it, you know, it gets, starts getting the paint a little chalky if you don't take care of it. A um, lot more things to worry about when it's outside, you know, hailstorms, big storms coming through. So for me, the hangar is worth it. Uh, for this airplane just to keep it safe. Um, the annual inspection. Now, the annual inspection for me, I go to Moira Aviation and the flat fee is $1,500. Now, you can go other places. They might charge 1000 they might charge 800 but Moira Aviation does a great job in Mount Pocono. Mike Oster Papa is an airport identifier. They've worked in this plane, the previous owner, for a long period of time and it's, this plane is well maintained. Those guys do a great job. They do everything. And if $1,500 includes the inspection um, uh, spots and the tail, the compressions, you know, so on and so forth with the airplane, and that's what it costs me. If it needs something, that's additional. So if it needs an oil change, needs brakes, needs rotors, um, alternator goes, this hose goes, that goes, uh, it's an additional expense. And that's the biggest thing that everybody has to realize that it's hard to gauge. It could be zero dollars a year, it could cost an extra two thousand dollars that year if it needs something. So it's very difficult to get you that kind of price. So fixed costs, where I know I have to pay nine hundred for insurance, forty five hundred dollars for a hangar, fifteen hundred dollars uh, for the annual inspection if it does not need anything. So basically sixty nine hundred dollars it's what's going to cost me right out of the chute and that's not including fuel so let's get into that so hourly cost okay this again this is average so hourly cost for this airplane is fuel about forty dollars an hour which is low for a plane that can in cruise can do 145 150 knots in cruise uh, which is not bad so I'm, and I factor about nine gallons per hour at 450 a gallon um, some places a little bit cheaper in this area, some places a little bit more. That's the medium, so I figured I'll use a 450 per gallon, uh, nine gallons an hour. It's $40 an hour. This plane typically gets in cruise 8.2, 8.4, so I raise it to nine. Why not? Uh, so that's approximately uh, $40 an hour. So now the, the, the biggest unknown, and again, is maintenance. Okay, are you going to just not put, you know, not calculate your hourly towards your maintenance. Are so you just going to not put that in your calculations? Are you going to just worry about it at the end of the year when your annuals come due? Or are you going to try to figure it out through the year of your hourly costs? So I factor in $20 an hour for maintenance. Again, it could be more than that. It all depends what airplane you have, of course, and what you might need when it comes to that annual. But factor in $20 per hour. Again, biggest unknown. That's a lot of the questions I get. I can't answer that because I don't know your airplane. I don't know what other planes you're looking at. Is, is it a uh, bad panel? The engine's timed out. Is it getting close to timed out? How's the prop? How, I don't know any of that stuff. And those are all the things you got to take into consideration when you are buying an airplane and we can get into that in a few minutes. Um, depreciation. Well, the airplane is not really depreciating much like they used to. Uh, these airplanes new are 800 plus thousands of dollars. So these airplanes are going up in price, uh, which is good for people like me. Um, and I got a great price for this airplane, which is well, well equipped. So if I want to sell this airplane right now, I can probably put $25,000 or $30,000 in my pocket, but it's not for sale. It's an awesome airplane. Uh, but it gives me some leeway to put a new panel in, which I've been talking to you guys a while about a new panel. So depreciation, I factor in $20 an hour. Uh, depreciate the airplane, panel, whatever you might want to do. It's, 
and I just put it in there because why not? It's if it's free money at the end of the year, it's free money at the end of the year if I come to sell it, because uh, airplanes are going up in value. But you might have bought your airplane high. You might have put a new panel in um, that cost you thirty thousand dollars, and you bought it high, so you're kind of upside down a little bit. So I don't know your circumstances, but figure in twenty dollars per hour. So in this example with this Mooney behind me, um, $6,900 plus $80 per hour. That's the $40 plus 20 plus 20. And I do, say I do 100 hours a year, which sometimes I usually do more, to be honest with you. We'll use 100 just for straightforward numbers. Um, it's gonna cost you $14,900. <laughs> I know, when I, when I added this up, I was like, holy geez, I spend money on my hobby, but this is my life dream is, is being a pilot and here I am and I work very hard to do it. And so, but it is what it is. If you take out the, uh, save yourself the, the tie down, you're saving yourself um, $3,500 a year. So you can actually bring that down uh, to 11,000 and change if you wanted to. So about a thousand dollars a month if you have it tied down somewhere. So, but for an airplane, $1,000 a month with everything is not a bad deal because I have friends who play golf who spend $8,000 a year. I have friends who spend money on a boat. They spend usually twelve dollars to $13,000 a year. If it doesn't need anything, you know, you got to put it in the water, you got to take it out of the water, you have to have a truck, you got to have a trailer. You dry docking it, not dry docking it, where you get to store it. Uh, fuel's expensive to go up and down the river. You know, it's it's just it is it's a hobby, and it's going to cost you money. Uh, and you can only use a boat in New York for about five months out of the year, maybe six months out of the year. But the airplane, I can use it all year round, as, as, as much as I want, as long as I want, and go anywhere I want to go, which is a, is a huge deal for me. So, again, that's roughly what this airplane costs me. Uh, now, now, mind you, I, I got in this airplane, it was beautiful. I mean, beautiful. So, if it needed stuff, you know, if it did need stuff, it's, it's going to cost you more money, like I said before. So, it's, you know, the maintenance thing is a big thing to kind of figure out, and, it, and it's difficult. And it all depends how you calculate stuff to yourself. Uh, but for guys who don't have a plane, who are looking at a Mooney, looking at a complex airplane, this is what I spend. This is 180 horsepower, 1968 uh, Mooney M20C Ranger, manual gear with a Johnson bar, manual flaps. Um, so that kind of helps me out, a couple hundred dollars in maintenance a year and savings, um, so on and so forth. Now, really quickly, uh, so I kind of wanted this video to just kind of go towards the, the, the cost to own. Um, when you're purchasing, I get a lot of emails about purchasing and what you do about purchasing. The biggest thing to do when you're purchasing an airplane is you must have to do a pre-buy. Have to. You don't want to buy someone else's disaster. And I've heard horror stories. Uh, so you're buying an airplane, folks. Spend the extra thousand dollars to do go to a real pre-buy guy, a real mechanic somewhere who's going to go through the plane. Not just go fly around with you and say, ah, it's okay, the compressions are okay, yeah, it's good to buy. You gotta check the, the camshaft. Does it have corrosion or does it not have corrosion? How long has it been sitting? When's the last time it's been flown? Uh, was it sitting outside? Is there birds in it? Was there animals in it? Is, is, is uh, hoses being eaten? You know, all this stuff. It's not about how the plane runs. You gotta check the compressions, you gotta check the camshaft, um, everything. So I had the guy use a camera to check throughout the cylinders and engine to make sure it was good and this plane was in great tip-top shape. But you need to do a pre-buy folks, spend the money. If you're gonna spend 20, 30, 40, $50,000, $80,000, spend the extra money to do a pre-buy. Check for corrosion to spars. The Mooney has, the good thing about the Mooney, there's one spar, they, they build the, the, the body, the fuselage on the wings compared to other manufacturers who built the wings around the body. So there's one big spar, actually two spars, little one in the back all the way across, and there's one big, the, the, the biggest supporter spar goes from wing tip, base, not the wing tip, but pretty much out there to the other side, and they put the body on the wings on the Mooney. And also there's a roll cage built in um, in the cockpit area, in the passenger area in the back, which is pretty cool. Uh, so again, pre-buy, pre-buy, inspection, inspection, you have to do it. 
It's not worth buying a plane if you're going to just be discouraged when there's all these problems occur that you should have known on your pre-buy inspection, okay? And the other thing is, if you look, don't really have to buy a complex airplane if you're new at all this aviation fun stuff. And it's a good time, don't get me wrong. But there's also Cessna 150s out there. Um, there's also uh, other uh, Comanches out there that you can do 180 Comanche, they're down in price. Um, but they're kind of, that's a complex airplane, I'm sorry, that's a complex plane. Uh, but the uh, Cherokee 140, Cherokee 180, uh, the Cessna 152, the Cessna 150, the Cessna 172. You can get a, one, you can get a Cessna 150 for about 15,000. Um, who cares what the panel looks like if you want some time under your belt to get familiar with the airplane, how it flies, get familiar with the airspace in your area, talking to ATC. Basically hands-on training for yourself at a low rate, and they're about five, six gallons per hour, give or take. So that would be a good bang for your buck too if you're just learning. Like I bought the Grumman Yankee for sixteen thousand. Um, very slow plane, but it was fun, uh, and I learned a lot on it. I mean, short wings, so you had to take off a little faster, land a little faster. It stalls quicker. It sinks like a rock. But you learn all that stuff. But the Cessnas, it's it's like a parachute when you're coming in. The thing stalls at like forty miles an hour. I mean, come on, it's hard to mess up a landing in those things. So you don't have to buy these planes, and you can start out with a Cessna 150 and your cost will be in half basically so I will look into that stuff too as well um, but if any so hopefully I answered all your questions I know I'm kind of going through this quickly the next video is going to be um, how much does it cost to get your private because I get a lot of questions about your private how much it costs about getting your, your uh, pilot's license which is your private license um, but we'll do that in another video but any questions, folks, please email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate that. If you want to hit the little bell, which is right about here somewhere, and the subscribe button's over there somewhere, you'll get, uh, every time I upload a video, you'll get automatically notified when I upload a video. And you can follow me on Facebook at pilotfun101. Uh, everybody's waving. So, uh, also, and I got close to 7,800 people following me on Facebook. Thank you. Uh, and if you guys can hit the subscribe button and get me up there a little bit, that'd be great. So if you guys have any questions, email me, please. I hopefully I kind of answer what you guys are looking for. Uh, I know it's hard. It's very difficult to really pin it down to the exact. You're not going to be able to do exact. Only thing I can really tell you again, and it's a must. You must do this. I'm telling you. You don't have to ask your uh, your um, uh, mechanic, you know, or your instructor. Uh, I can legally say do a pre-buy inspection, a real pre-buy inspection, and you won't have a problem. Go over to log books if you're planning your buying, go over to log books tooth and nail, make sure it all adds up and lines up correctly, and do again, a pre-buy inspection is a must. So, okay folks, until next time, fly safe, be safe. See ya.